Hospital. I got a chance to sit down with Lynette Bardolf, a professional audiologist who served nearly 25 years in the military, who has a passion for sound in more ways than one. Sound. It can be a warning, a celebration, a performance. But it can often go unappreciated until the noise fades to silence. As young people, um, and I remember you think you're, you know, invincible, right? And you're not thinking about down the road until you're down the road and you have a significant hearing loss and you're trying to communicate. Lynette Bardolph's work in audiology doesn't stop at assisting people who already suffer from hearing loss, but ensuring those who still have their abilities don't take it for granted. What hearing loss does is it tends to isolate people uh, because they can't hear conversations. They, they can't understand what people are saying, so then they isolate themselves, which brings on depression. Bardolph's primary work in audiology came during her near 25 years of service in the U.S. Army as a teacher, ensuring her knowledge reached future generations. The goal of the hearing conservation program is to have people um, leave the military with the hearing that they came in on. So if, so if we do our jobs right, then they will leave with the hearing that they came into the military with. But from an interest blossomed a passion for servitude. God's put me in really good positions to do that. I feel like when, when we as people have those opportunities, then we um, should use those opportunities and give back to the community. Since retiring from the military, Bardolph has opened her own audiology firm where she helps patients with debilitating tinnitus, which in the worst cases can have fatal outcomes. Literally, it has saved people's lives because people that have really bad tinnitus, they tend to, uh, some of them tend to be suicidal. And so... Um, I have literally kind of talked people off the edge, so to speak. On top of her firm work, Bardal still volunteers teaching audiology at Fort Novacell and performing during worship at her church. I will sing of the goodness of God. Music has always been a passion for Bardolph, and the connection between her hobby and her profession is not a hard one to draw. I wonder sometimes if that was the ultimate connection and why I got into the field. Um, maybe way back when because I've uh, loved music since I was a kid. I can't help but think that that was not a coincidence.